हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम टू दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर नाइन ऑन ऑन द सीमास बट वील बी लुकिंग एट द नॉइस मार्जिन सो नॉइस मार्जिन एज सच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द सीमास एंड फॉर द डिजिटल एंड एनालॉग सर्किट्स द रीजन इज वंस वी कैन कैरेक्टराइज द नॉइस मार्जिन वंस वी कैन कैलिब्रेट द नॉइस मार्जिन वी शुड बी एबल टू वी शुड बी एबल टू पुट Uh, our input within that particular noise margin so that uh, we will get the discrete outputs so noise margin as such is is uh, is a characterized or a calibrated uh, you know allowable range uh, for the input to get a discrete output so in in a sense uh, you know it, it is that particular range uh, where we can allow some kind of a mistakes we can allow some kind of a noise signal but yet to get a discrete output okay so uh, in this particular lecture what we will see is uh, how do we uh, evaluate or how do we uh, characterize the noise mar margin uh, from uh, from a given circuit so what we will do is from a given circuit we will try to find out the transfer characteristics and then from the transfer characteristics we should be able to determine the noise margin uh, characteristics for that particular circuit and we will take a very simple example uh, what we have been doing we have been uh, using the inverter as a primitive uh, digital circuit uh and uh, we had already gone over the transfer characteristics uh and from there we will should be able to characterize the noise margin okay so this is what we have we have a very primitive circuit uh, uh so let me uh, take out my pointer uh or this one okay and so this is what we have we have been uh, using the inverter as our uh, you know the very first level of the digital circuit given an input uh, we should be able to find the output and what we had seen is uh, you know the transfer characteristics so we are kind of very familiar with the transfer characteristics transfer characteristics once again uh, trying to reiterate it is nothing but the output voltage uh, versus the input voltage right how does it behave uh, so for uh, you know and uh, vdd by 2 turns out to be our uh, uh the threshold voltage for the inverter that means that anything lower than vdd by 2 i should be able to get the output voltage higher and anything lower than uh, you know vdd by 2 i should be able to get uh, the voltage the output voltage lower right so the uh, so this is what the transfer characteristics uh, we have defined and uh, in this particular transfer characteristics uh, you know the pmos and nmos the width of the pmos Uh, and then the width of the nmos what we have taken is the width of the pmos is equal to twice that of the width of the nmos and according to the long channel current model uh, i should be able to get the betas of the pmos uh, to be same as that of the nmos and then thereby what i have said is the betas are same that means this is an unskewed inverter so that's what i have right i'm writing here it's an unskewed uh, a uh, circuit it's an unskewed inverter because this is the inverter circuit right and that's the reason why we get uh, the threshold voltage to be vdd by 2 when we apply the rail voltage of vdd uh, and on the other side we apply a rail voltage of 0 so the threshold voltage for an unskewed inverter uh, will be a uh, uh, vdd by 2 so in another case you know what we also say is uh, you know this is the uh, the twice that of the nmos uh generally what we say is uh, you know if i am going to make a lowest size transistor right a lowest size transistor in uh, whatever technology node so in this case i'm going to use let's say 65 nanometer technology uh node so the lowest size nmos transistor uh, you know nmos transistor of course will have a channel length of 15 nanometers the width will be uh, the lowest width uh what we can design is for 100 nanometers right they're taking the 4 is to 2 ratio of the width and then the length so this turns out to be 100 nanometers uh, this will be the lowest uh width of the nmos transistor that we can design so to get the unskewed inverter you know the the lowest width of the pmos turns out to be nothing but 200 uh, nanometers right so in this particular case uh what we can also say is i mean the way to represent the the lowest sized width uh, dimension uh, uh, the inverter could also be 2 is to 1 because the 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 pmos width is twice that of the nmos width 
uh, and so we can also represent this inverter you know whenever we are writing we can also say that this is nothing but 2 is to 1 inverter right what it represents is uh, the pmos width is twice that of the nmos width and then because if it's the you know the lowest uh, the primitive uh, inverter so the size is uh, of uh, you know this is this could be 200 nanometers this is 200 nanometers and then this is nothing but 100 nanometers okay so in the textbooks and most of the times you will see that you know 2 is to 1 inverter what it really means is nothing but the width of the pmos is 200 the width of the nmos is 100 nanometers the channel length is for both of them is 50 nanometers so uh, so when you are looking at the transfer characteristics uh, of the inverter we get certain points uh, like the uh, you know the vdd by 2 which is um, you know again let me draw the pointer pick the pointer so VDD by 2 which is nothing but uh, our threshold uh, voltage uh, uh, and then of course we have this uh, VDD points and then uh, this particular point which is nothing but uh, the zero voltage right so this is something we had already seen in the transfer characteristics of the inverter in addition to that uh, I have added two more points A and B here so B and A um, and have said that this the slope is minus one at this two particular points so this basically these two points uh, are the points on the transfer characteristics profile of the inverter uh, where the slope at this particular point uh, is minus one the slope in in fact represents the change in the output voltage with respect to the change in the input voltage is minus one and then that is same for both here uh, again the same in the change in the output voltage uh, to the change in the input voltage at this particular point is minus one right uh, so what it really means is uh, this particular profile in this particular profile right and then in this particular region of the transfer characteristics if the slope is minus one those points will be our a and b and there will always be a unique point in these two particular uh, uh, regions right in this particular region uh, if i do uh, if if i really want to find out uh, the slope is minus one i will get a unique point b and of course in this particular region uh, you know uh, if in this particular region uh, if i find out the point uh, where the slope is minus 1 i'll get a unique point that will be point a now this points a and b will actually define certain you know four more four new parameters which will help us to characterize the noise margin now these four parameters are called uh, the output uh, voltage low uh, v o l represents the output voltage and l represents the uh, the low level of output voltage v o h represents the output voltage high h represents the high and the corresponding parameters on the input side input voltage low and input voltage high okay hope uh, this is clear now coming back to the slope of minus one right so if i look into this particular region uh, you know above the point B this particular region I'm talking about uh, let me pick up a, a new uh, 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 color and then this particular region I'm talking about and then this particular region I'm talking about okay so in this particular region the output voltage the change in the output voltage the change in the output voltage with respect to the change in the input voltage so as the input voltage keeps on increasing the output voltage changes uh, very very minimal so it, it turns out to be very very small right and similarly here in this particular region the change in the output voltage with respect to the change in the input voltage is also very very uh, small or low in this particular region of the transition region you know what we call it as a transition region which is coming from those intersection points of the nmos and pmos uh, saturation current uh, so this particular region where we get the output voltage and uh, the input voltage right so a very small change in the input voltage i will get a very large change in the output voltage so i'm going to write it as uh, very high right so uh, the uh, the noise margin especially the parameters voh vol uh, you know vih and vil is actually defined is actually defined between these two points a and b where the slope where the slope is you know going from small to high 
And again, from high to low, we'll get the corresponding points B and A. Right, so if I choose the point B, it is actually the slope for this particular transfer characteristics, you know, the changes from small to high, and we want to capture the point B where the slope is actually minus one. So it is not small enough and it is not high enough. It is actually minus one. And similarly, point A here, uh, you know, it, it is that particular uh, point where the slope of the transfer characteristics changes from high to low. And point A is actually the slope of minus one where it is not small, not high enough and it's not small enough. And that's how it has been defined. So the points A and B uh, are defined as the slope of minus one, which will be able to characterize the noise margin. So that's how the definition of the, uh, you know, the noise margin uh, has come, right? Or rather, I'll say that the definition of those, uh, the voltage, uh, output voltage level high, low and input voltage level high and low that has been derived from or deduced from where the, the slope is actually minus one because on either side, the slope is very, very small or the slope is very, very high. Okay, so coming back to this particular uh, transfer characteristics. Uh, so we have this particular transfer characteristics of the inverter where uh, it is the betas are same. So that means that uh, it is an unskewed inverter. Okay, it's an unskewed inverter. And that looking at the transfer characteristics, I can easily state that this is an inverter digital circuit and then that's what the transfer characteristics uh, represents. On the right hand side, we have uh, the output and input voltage levels drawn. So from the transfer characteristics, what we really want is actually this particular output and input voltage level characteristics, right? From the voltage level characteristics, then I can actually define the noise margin. So the uh, output and input voltages, what I've done is I've divided into two segments. So this is my uh, division line. I've just drawn a line here, uh, you know, this particular blue line. So this particular line is what I, have, uh, I am considering. And uh, I have drawn, you know, because it's a voltage level, so I've drawn a zero volts level and then I have drawn a VDD level, right? So that is what the output and input uh, level, I've drawn the zero volts level from the output region and input region and VDD level on the output and input region. From those, uh, you know, slope of, uh, uh, slope of minus one, so this is point B and this is point A, we got four parameters two on the output parameters and then two on the input parameters. The VOH, which is very, very close to VDD. So that's what I've drawn VOH on the output region, on the output region. And then VOL on the output region that is very, very close to the zero volts, right? So this is the zero volts line. And that's why it is very, very closer to the zero volts line. So I've completed the output uh, region levels. So what are the four uh, output region levels? VDD, zero and in between VOH and uh, VOL. On the input side, I need, uh, you know, I have anyways drawn VDD level. I have anyways drawn zero voltage level. I need uh, the two of the uh, input uh, low and input high parameters. So this one, I will draw it, which is very, very close to this VDD by two. So I'm going to draw a VDD by two line, a VDD by two line. This is my VDD by two line. And right, and then, uh, you know, it is because it's an unskewed inverter, it is actually falls very, very symmetrically. So symmetrical in the sense, VIL and VIH points are actually symmetrically placed on either side of VDD by two. So this is my VIH and this is my VIL. Okay. So uh, looking at this particular, uh, you know, output and input region or input and output voltage levels, what we can say is, if my input voltage, if my input voltage is anywhere, is anywhere here, or uh, sorry, uh, not this, sorry for that. Uh, if my input voltage, you know, I'm going to extend this line on the input side, uh, the VOL and then v, uh, VOL and VOH line. If my input is somewhere here, I'm pretty sure that my output will be here. Right, so I've drawn four crosses, so I'll also make uh, equivalent number of uh, tick marks there. So what it means is, if my input voltage level is very, very close to zero volt, so that means that, you know, there may be a point of 0 0.01 or 0 0.02, uh, 
or whatever you know 0 0.03 volts uh, which is less than this uh, VOL value and it is very very clear that you know somewhere here you know somewhere here at the input side if I get this point I'm pretty sure that the output voltage uh, will be very very close to VDD so that's what the transfer characteristic says the output levels is very very close to VDD and that's what the uh, you know uh, that's what uh, from the transfer characteristics we get so this x points is actually uh, mapping to the output side uh, uh, the tick mark points which is very very close to the VDD similarly at the input side if I put a different color let me see at the input side if I get my input points very very close to the VDD that means that very very close to the VOH level then I'm pretty sure that the output will be very very close to the uh, to the zero volts all right looking at the transfer characteristics if the input points are somewhere here very very uh, uh, close to the VDD very very close to the VDD values uh, then I will get uh, my output uh, values to be very very uh, to be zero so somewhere uh, you know this particular point it states that the output voltage is actually zero right so the transfer characteristics uh, and then the input and output uh, voltage region says that by default if my input levels input to the inverter is very very close to zero volts my output will be uh, almost uh, VDD values and if the input levels is very very close to the VDD values the output will be anyway zero right so that that is by default what if now the question is what if if I have some points somewhere here right at the input side if it is somewhere here or if it is somewhere here what should be my output voltage right now uh, the noise margin low is defined as VOL and you know this particular region of VIL and VOL right so that means this particular region and then this particular region where we have defined our VIL and VOL so this particular region is called the noise margin low and then similarly this particular region is called the noise margin uh, high right uh, noise margin noise margin low because it is uh, you know it is basically on the on the lower side of the input and noise margin high it is on the higher side of the input right so if my points is actually falling in this particular region noise margin low it will still you know because of this uh, transfer characteristics any point here is likely to give me you know this is basically this point right a uh, noise margin uh, low is nothing but VIL and below VIL so this is the region so this is the region right where I'll actually get my output you know this particular region where I'll actually get the output somewhere here right VIL is actually defined by point B so any input in this particular region is likely to give me the output point somewhere here which is actually very very you know it is actually greater than VOH that means it is very very closer to VDD similarly if my input points is actually somewhere in between in this noise margin high region so that means that is actually defined by uh, VIH so that is this particular region so this particular uh, region right my actually my output uh, values lie somewhere here which is actually closer to uh, very very close to zero volts so what it means is the noise margin high and noise margin low it is that allowable range it's the allowable input range where my input signals can still lie somewhere here but still i'll get an output a definite and a discrete output right somewhere in this particular region based on the you know whether the input signal is in uh, the noise margin high or the input signal is in the noise margin low right so it is an allowable uh, you know input range for which i'll get an output voltage still still a satisfied dis digital or a discrete output voltage the output voltage can be you know uh, can be either vdd volts or rather you know i can say it as 1 volt or if uh, voh is uh, 0.95 right so i can get an output voltage uh, somewhere close to 0 0.99 or 0 0.98 or 0 0.97 but it is still very very close to 1 volts and it is doesn't you know 
if I have some uh, input range here, it doesn't give me a point somewhere here, all right? And if my input range is somewhere here, it doesn't give me a point somewhere here. It actually gives me a point uh, very, very close to the zero volts, right? So that's the, that's the importance of the noise margins, especially for the digital circuits. Right, and uh, this is very, very useful in terms of the mix in in terms of designing a mixed signal circuit where we have a digital component coming from the in you know the analog component. So the analog component is fed to a digital component, and then in that sense, if the analog uh, signal gives me uh, uh, somewhere here, right, I still should be able to get a digital uh, output, right. So that is that is the reason why this noise margin is of importance. Right, so the noise margin high, as I had said earlier, it is nothing but the difference between the VOH and VIH and the noise margin low is nothing but VIL um, and the difference between this particular line and uh, this particular line, which is nothing but VIL minus VOL. Right, uh, going back, uh, going further, sorry. So this is an empty slide. So what it means is I'm, I'm likely to draw something here. I'm going to draw something here. So what we had seen is uh, for a two is to one inverter, Right, so that means that my beta p is equal to beta n for an unskewed inverter. Uh, we had the transfer characteristics, right? And I'm going to draw the transfer characteristics, which is nothing but um, like this, right? And uh, transfer characteristics is nothing but uh, v out and then v in. Uh, and then let me say that this is uh, my VDD value and then this is my zero volts value and uh, somewhere here this is my VDD by 2. Right? If I change my beta P is greater than beta N, right? So in that sense my width of the PMOS is much much uh, higher than that of the NMOS. It's not only two times the width of the NMOS, but it is much, much higher so that I'll get a skewed inverter now. With the skewed inverter, as we know, the transfer characteristics is likely to change. The transfer characteristics is going to be shifted towards the right. And then this is what I'm going to get. All right. And if I further write this, so this particular value is, will be my threshold uh, voltage and it will not be VDD by two. It will be something else. Right, and then if I want to draw my B and A points where the slope is minus one, that is also likely to change. Um, so let me draw this on this particular point. So this is my point B, and then this is my point A for the skewed inverter. And then similarly, this will be my point B dash, and this will be my point A dash. So, you know, A dash and B dash are the slope, uh, you know, are those points which defines the VOL, uh, VIH, uh, uh, VOH and VIL, right? So if I look into this uh, B dash parameters, uh, B dash parameters, which will give me the new points, which will give me output high dash and uh, this, this particular line, which will give me VIL, um, yeah, VIL dash. Similarly, points A here uh, will is likely to give me VOL dash and uh, this particular point, uh, this particular line, I'm going to draw it as VIH dash, right? So earlier we had VOH, VOL, uh, VIL and VIH, right? So if I go back to the previous slide, uh, we had, uh, you know, we had this VIL, uh, VIH, we, ha we had VOH and VOL. Now with the skewed inverter, uh, going further, with the skewed inverter, we now have all those parameters with a, you know, uh, with a VOH, uh, uh, with a dash, VOL dash and VIH dash and VIL dash. So these are different points, all right? So if I draw, my uh, input output region. So I'm going to draw this uh, input and output region and I'm going to draw the VDD line. So this is my input. And uh, this is my output. Hope you are able to see this. And I'm going to draw my input and output, uh, you know, the, the region with VDD line and then with the v zero voltage line, right? 
Earlier, my threshold voltage when it was an unskewed inverter, beta p is equal to beta n, and my threshold voltage was uh, um, uh, VDD by 2. So this is my VDD by 2 line. Now the threshold voltage, the threshold voltage has been moved to some other value. So this is my new threshold voltage, right? And I have drawn it. Uh, you know, I have drawn it above VDD by 2 because uh, from this particular region, we know that uh, it is VDD by 2 is this unskewed line, this particular region, and then uh, this particular region, this has been shifted. It, right, it has been uh, shifted. So what it means is my threshold region, that threshold input side, a threshold voltage is above VDD by 2, and that's why I have drawn this above VDD by 2. And my VIL dash and VIH dash has is has also been shifted, right? And it should be on either side of this threshold voltage. So this is my threshold voltage, uh, VTH is this. And this will be my VIH dash and then this will be my VIL dash. Okay. And uh, to further complete, on the output side, uh, I have this VOH dash. And on the input side, I have this V, uh, uh, sorry, on the output side, low side, I will have VOL dash. So this is my extending line and this is my extending line. And if I complete this, the noise margin now is this noise margin on the higher side, noise margin higher, and then a dash because it's for the skewed inverter. And then similarly here, noise margin low, and I'll say that dash because it's for the skewed inverter and not for the unskewed inverter. Okay, the so noise margin high and noise margin low uh, has changed. So the noise margin low uh, apparently has increased and noise margin high has apparently decreased. Right, so if I go further, uh, this is what, uh, you know, this is uh, this is what is for the two transfer characteristics when uh, the beta p is equal to beta n, unskewed one, and then the other one is beta p greater than beta n, which we had seen in the last slide. So I put both the slides, you know, both the uh, input and output uh, regions together. And uh, because, you know, if, if you look at it once, it may be a little bit overwhelming, and that's why I have drawn that previous slide. Right, but this slide is nothing but, you know, if you look into this output and input uh, regions, uh, it is nothing but one, uh, it is nothing but two of these lines, uh, two of the transfer characteristics parameters, uh, rather the noise margin parameters, which we have uh, put it together. Right, so looking at it, noise margin high has been decreased and noise margin low has been increased, right, with respect to an unskewed inverter. Right, so what it signifies is as I actually skew, right, if I increase the skewing ratio, that means that by beta P by beta N is, that is the skewing ratio. And if it increases, the noise margin on the lower side is going to increase, the noise margin on the higher side is going to decrease. Right, similarly, it will have a very symmetrical effect. If the skewing ratio is decreased, right, the noise margin lower side will decrease and noise margin higher side will increase. Okay, now what is the advantage of this? So the advantage here is if I know, let's say I pick up a, uh, you know, an unskewed inverter uh, and then in the unskewed inverter, in the unskewed inverter, so let me go back to the unskewed inverter. If I can find out uh, a, you know, uh, or rather let me draw. Okay, so let me draw uh, a new design. Okay, so okay, so that's what I have done. I've got a new slide. So I'm going to draw the input output uh, characteristics of an unskewed inverter. So that means that it is going to lie uh, on VDD. Uh, this is my output and then this is my input. And this is my zero voltage line. This is exactly symmetrical, so VDD by two, right? 
and uh, you know uh, i'll pick up another pointer saying that this is my vi h uh, and then this is my vi l so i'm going to write it as vi l and then vi h right and then this is going to be my v o h and then this is going to be my v uh, o l right and tomorrow if i have a signal right like this which falls in this particular region then i'm pretty sure that i'm going to get an output uh, somewhere here in this particular uh, region of vdd and uh, voh for the inverter so which is good right so if i have any kind of a noise signal of whatever frequency it is but uh, its amplitude is limited within this particular region that's perfectly fine but let's say that if i have a noise signal right which is crossing this transition region which is crossing this transition region like this right this particular region the transition region gives me any points you know this particular output range right so if i go back to my transfer characteristics so i've taken uh, the slide number 3 so any point any input voltages any input voltages within this particular transition region i i can actually get any output values in this particular region right so going back to uh, where we were uh, so what it means is if i have some kind of a points here in this particular region i will actually get uh, i'll not be able to get a defined output level right so i may get a point somewhere here i'm uh, sorry output i may get some point here i may get some point here i may get some point here or somewhere here so it is not a defined one right i will not get a defined range uh, somewhere in between here or here right it could lie between voh and vol right so which is not good for the circuit which is not you know which so we have not taken or accommodated this particular um you know this particular noise which is uh which we have not characterized it or calibrated properly to give a valid output signal right so what it means is if i get this particular uh, you know input signal then i'll have to change or i'll have to design my circuit such that my threshold range is here so this will be my vth and uh, the symmetrically i will get uh, you know i'll write vth dash and then vil dash and then the corresponding uh, vih dash so i have to change my uh, dimensions or the width of the pmos such a way that i'll get this vth dash value uh, and then corresponding vil dash value and vih dash value higher in you know, a high enough such that this particular input signal level is accommodated and if i can accommodate that then i know that any input signal here in this particular region should uh should give me a point should give me a definite point somewhere in the output range so i need to skew my inverter similarly if i have more input signal at the higher side if i have more input signal at the higher side here so let me pick up uh, another color more input signal uh, you know at the higher side then i should change my uh, i should you know have a skewed inverter of course but on the lower side so i will probably use a low skew inverter to accommodate this particular changes right so that really depends on the input characterization right so in the input characterization in the sense if we know that the input signal that has been applied to the inverter has more noise signal at the lower side then i can easily make the high skew inverter but if we see that uh, there are more noise signal that has been applied to the input side uh, on the on the higher side right on the higher side that means that in along this particular regions then we can make it a low skew inverter so that's the advantage of skewing and that has been highly been uh, used uh, in the digital uh, circuit design as well as in the mixed signal uh, circuit design right hope uh, you have understood this so what uh, what we started was an inverter unskewed inverter draw the we anyways understand the transfer characteristics and then from the transfer characteristics we were able to uh, design the noise uh, margin uh, the noise margin is nothing but uh, allowable range for which we will get a definite output signal uh, closer to vdd or closer to 0 volts for an inverter 
and uh, you know if uh, there is an input signal which is uh, falling uh, on the on the lower side and if we want to accommodate it we can actually change uh, you know change the width of the pmos or the nmos transistors and then make it appropriately uh, such that the noise margin is been accommodating the input signal uh, input noise signal 